So a quick build for you guys this week, uh, part of a costume that I'm going to be working on in the future. So today I'm showing you how to do a removable tattoo sleeve. So what we're going to use for this, uh, some of these, some uh, denier, sheer knee highs, I don't know how you pronounce that, I'm not a girly girl, I don't wear tights. This is one size fits all, these are knee highs because for this I only need it to go up to like here so we don't need like a full arm sleeve so if you want a longer one then um, maybe get some like full full leg ones that are sort of meant to go up to your thighs so to putting my arm in here it would also kind of work for like a fishman costume if you were to paint certain bits in a certain way because then you've got like automatic webbed feet so there's something I'm going to store in my brain of ideas for any future costume. I love it when stuff like that happens. Alright, so what we're going to do is basically, I need to cut some of this off, probably most of where the foot is. So if I just mark out, uh, if I do it, I don't know, if I do it like here. So basically the idea with this is, obviously you're going to be painting on the fabric, but it doesn't really change your skin tone that much. Obviously you will have to get um, tights based on your actual skin tone. Um, for me, I uh, will have to cover up my actual tattoo. Don't have to worry about the one up here because it's gonna be covered by the shirt because the sleeves are gonna be rubbed up to, to here. But it saves having to get up early and paint on your whole tattoo of whatever you're designing super early before Comic Con and hoping it doesn't rub off or sweat off or whatever. So you're just gonna Oh, that cuts very satisfyingly. Now, obviously, if I weren't wearing anything else on my wrist, that seam would be really, really visible. But, thankfully, Hades has a watch. So, I'm gonna have a watch around my wrist. So, by the time that's on there, you're not really gonna notice. Completely different skin tone. It seems to be puckering a little bit. So, what I'm gonna do, probably just fold it in and maybe just glue it. It's got some all-purpose high-tech glue. This is um, nice strong glue. Got it from the fabric store. I've used it to glue fabric pieces together before. So before I do that, I'm going to stretch it out. And uh, I could get my mannequin arm for it. I found a pool noodle in, in the thing outside. So we're going we're gonna to use that. Just make sure there's no dead spiders on it. Good. Pull it over the noodle. Just a little bit of glue. Don't need a huge amount. Oh, that's dry. I should just make sure nothing splits and frays too much because that's the last thing we really want is to it starts splitting like a, well, like a pair of tights. Tattoo sleeves are something you have to disguise with like cuffs and bracelets and stuff. You see it done in movies all the time. Uh, the biggest example I can think of is Sorcerer's Apprentice where the character, um, oh, what's his name? Drake, I think it was. I can't quite remember. Um, has full tattoo arms that the actor doesn't and uh, you can tell they're tattoo sleeves and he's got like big chunky bracelets on to hide the seam so if you have a character that doesn't have anything that you have to hide with it it might be a case of hand painting it on but for this there's, there's a lot of like black to do so it's preferable that we don't do that <laughs> So for this costume, Patrick Page's Instagram is just a haven because he posts several close-up pictures of his costume. One of them is a comparison between the two versions of his tattoo sleeves. Uh, the bottom one was when they did it in London, which is a tattoo transfer, and the top one is the same method as I'm doing today, which is a nylon sleeve. Now you can see there is quite a subtle difference between the two tattoos, but enough of a difference that I have to physically make a choice which version I want to go for. And what I think I'm going to go for is the current version. So the bricks are larger and they are more rounded on the corners. Not that I'm a stickler for accuracy at all, but I know that there are subtle changes between the costume when it was in London and when it was on Broadway. And the most of what I'm going for is the Broadway look. So I think I have to stick with that. It's, it's things like that bug me a little bit when it's something I'm working on, but not all of this costume together is going to be screen accurate anyway. So as I've never done this before, I'm going to have a little test on a couple of other sort of bits. See how well things work, because I've got an option of either using fabric paint or fabric pens. Now, 
saying that these fabric pens I've had for a long time and used them on several different projects so I'm not sure how well the inks kind of held up over time but we're gonna test them out so you know I test these things so you don't have to all right so here's our little testers so this one is fabric paint and this one is the fabric pens uh, they both look quite similar when it's not stretched out but if I just put my hand in and stretch out the fabric that one comes up a lot lighter than this one obviously we don't want it like completely black and saturated looking at the two of them the fabric paint's probably going to be our best option probably gonna have to go over it a couple of times right so now we've decided on our method it's time to actually do the pattern so for something like this definitely gonna have to spend the time drawing it out we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna go here that looks like a good place to start Try not to make this wonky. So two centimeters for each strip. That's what we're going to do. So our brick pattern's all done now. It's really hard to show on camera because the pool noodle keeps hitting the wall. So now I can paint it if this thing decides it wants to stay still. Just be careful not to go over it too heavy because I don't want the paint to bleed. And I uh, want to obviously remember to try not to do the corners square. I'm going to go for the rounded corner design on this one. So this should hopefully be nice and simple. But I've said that before on certain projects and things have turned out. To, to not be simple, but hey, we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. I'm hoping it goes well. If it doesn't, uh, at least that pack of stockings came with like three pairs for only one pound fifty. So this is probably gonna be the cheapest prop build I've ever done. There we go, all the paint's now on a brickwork, so need to dry it and then we can see how well it's transferred. Because it looks patchy on here, but that's because the paint's going through to the other side on here, but not properly all the way, so it's going to look patchy and I won't be able to tell if it's actually worked until I take it off and put it on. But I don't want to do that until it's dry, so we're going to aid it with the hairdryer. not too bad I think I will go over the bricks again just with a second coat some of the ones at the top are a little bit lighter and having it on the pool noodle means that the uh, the end has kind of stretched a little bit but with uh, the watch or whatever covering you have on the end it will uh, stop it from showing really so yeah that's not too bad I mean from a distance that could be uh, a rather convincing tattoo sleeve I just got a 
go paint over it again and then I think that will be looking fabulous. There you have it, one finished tattoo sleeve. I don't have the right shirt, nor do I have a watch at the moment, so uh, this is as good as it gets. I've tried to cover up my tattoo a little bit, you can just about see it through here. But not majorly, I will probably get proper makeup to cover that with. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. On camera, that actually looks really, really cool. So there you have it, a nice, quick and easy tutorial on how to make tattoo sleeves. So if you've got a costume that will need a sleeve, either a full arm or a bit of your arm or maybe even on your leg, just get some uh, nylon tights, get some fabric paint and you are well on the way. Get a pool noodle as well, just to put it on there. Or a mannequin arm, whichever one's easiest to get hold of. Probably a pool noodle would be the easier one to get hold of. So this means, now if I do this costume, I don't have to get up and hand paint on however many bricks are on this arm. I'm not going to count them. The only problem is this does make me want to get more actual proper tattoos. Thank you guys for watching, hope you've enjoyed. As always, thanks got to go out to my supporters on Patreon, especially to Jeff Kenny. Some more stuff will be on its way very soon, so stick around and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, I'm, I'm running out of, like, I'm doing things that aren't Star Wars, so the May the Force be with you sign-off doesn't work. What, what can I do for Hades? Keep your head low. If you want to keep your head, keep your head low. That. Okay, we're just going to stick with that. Bye!